New at 6, an inmate attempts to escape, but not before getting caught on camera. She makes a run for it from the courthouse. Kenosha County Sheriff's deputies say the woman managed to slip her hands out of a pair of handcuffs before bolting out the door of the courthouse and down the stairway. A deputy was injured in the chase. Eric Ross is live at the courthouse, and Eric, she's now facing a handful of new charges. That is correct. Good evening. Uh, Kenosha County Sheriff's deputies charged Elizabeth Cooper initially with reckless homicide and drug charges. Well, since she made her pretrial hearing appearance last week, she's since racked up four more felonies related to an attempted escape, which did not go over well. 30-year-old Elizabeth Cooper appeared in court last week on a reckless homicide charge after investigators say she provided heroin to a friend who died from an apparent overdose. Instead of being allowed to go home, a judge revoked her bond and ordered the deputy in the courtroom to take her to jail until trial. He handcuffed her, uh, was walking to the elevator. He got a call on his radio. He was distracted for a moment. With the deputy standing literally right next to Cooper, somehow she was still able to break out of handcuffs and make a run for it down this staircase. All of a sudden it hit home that she was going to jail and going to be spending some time there and in the transport part of it she panicked and took off. After slipping her left hand out of the cuffs she waits a second or two then she makes her move. She was handcuffed properly in the back but especially with women if they have very small hands and small features they can actually pull their hands out of a set of handcuffs. Cooper made it down the main staircase before a security guard near the front door tackles her after she slips. 25 years ago, this is almost the exact same situation happened to me too. And as I looked away, a person in the courthouse took off for me. I was able to catch him uh, a short time later, but it does happen, but it is not a normal occurrence. And we're told a deputy who was chasing Cooper down the staircase injured his knee, but he is expected to be okay. Meanwhile, Cooper remains behind bars. She has a court appearance tomorrow, and I'm sure there will be much more deputies inside that courtroom. Reporting live outside the Kenosha County Courthouse, Eric Ross, today's TMJ4. Yeah, they're going to keep a close eye on her.